While the Kingdom of Tonga was holding parades last week for Pita Tefatufu, its Taekwondo Olympian who gained international attention as a shirtless flag bearer during the Olympic opening ceremonies, it just so happened more than a dozen Nevada National Guardsmen were in the South Pacific Island nation at the same time. Soldiers and airmen from Nevada were there for a week-long state partnership program exchange to build strategic relations and learn from each other. Uh, this week we actually had three exchanges going on. We had a generator uh, exchange uh, that we worked with uh, the, depart uh, the Navy, uh, as also uh, with the, tied in with the search and rescue team. Uh, and then we also had a food security team that got a chance to go out and tour the countryside and look at uh, various crops uh, and how the Kingdom of Tonga and its people uh, support their food or raise their food. And uh, so it was a very informative week, uh, good interactions, I think, throughout the week. Also got a chance to talk with the folks uh, here, the Marines as well as the Navy personnel, uh, to understand their capabilities and the way they do things uh, to help our programs as well going into the future. More than a dozen Nevada Guardsmen participated with representatives of His Majesty's Armed Forces, Tonga's Ministry of Agriculture and Ministry of Information and Communications, including police, prison, and fire. In addition to soldiers and airmen, Paul Summers, the project manager of Fresno State University's Agricultural Development for Armed Forces Pre-Deployment Training, or ADAPT, program, also attended the exchange. Right now we're on a field trip looking at the coastal erosion due to the cutting of the uh, deforestation of the mangrove that's in the, uh, in the lagoon area here. So they're getting an idea of some of the issues that are faced in terms of disasters and, and possibilities for reduction of these disasters. The exchange from August 13th to 21st was the largest exchange between Tonga and the Nevada National Guard since the partnership began in 2014. The state partnership program links the state's National Guard with the armed forces of a partner country. Each partnership is administered by the National Guard Bureau and executed by each state's adjutant general in support of Department of Defense policy goals. They're very grateful and um, we can tell they're very appreciative too of us coming out here. For Nevada National Guard Joint Force Headquarters Public Affairs, this is Technical Sergeant Emerson Marcus.